Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to take you through a live demonstration of product research. Product research, winning products, finding products, selecting products. It's the number one topic within the dropshipping space and maybe in a close second to actual marketing. It's a process that most people overcomplicate. It's a process that most people put down to having the latest product research software, which is in my opinion, rubbish. Um, ultimately, it comes down to selecting um, one of two types of products. So if you're watching this video as a beginner, as somebody who hasn't found their very first successful or profitable product, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. When you pick a product for your dropshipping business, there are two different types of products, in my opinion, that you should be thinking about. Product type number one are products that have proven evidence that they are being drop shipped successfully. If you can find other drop shipping businesses that are drop shipping a white labeled product that anybody can sell, if they can drop ship it profitably, there's absolutely no reason on this planet why you shouldn't be able to drop ship that product profitably as well. Using product research softwares, you can find these products in a matter of seconds, which I'm gonna show you today in this video. And when you find the products being advertised and you see the Shopify dropshipping store, advertising them, and selling them profitably, you can see everything else that goes into that business too. You essentially get a free blueprint for a profitable business that you can go and use for inspiration. You can take the bits you like, you can improve upon it, you can sell it in a different country, you can find a variation of the same product, whatever it may be. There's no need to recreate the wheel here. You just need to find what is already working and put your own spin on it. And that's product number one, and my favorite product for the beginner just starting out. And what I mean by that is somebody who has zero experience when it comes to e-commerce and they don't have the guidance or some kind of plan to follow. They're trying this business themselves with no external help. Product number two, um, another one worth consideration is if you are going to choose a niche that you have a personal interest in. So it could be some kind of sport, it could be home and design, it could be that you have children, it could be that you have pets. And by having that interest and a natural connection because you spend time um, within the niche, you, bought, you already spend money in the niche, you already buy products in the niche, you already encounter the pain points and different things that naturally come with being part or interested in anything, you will naturally have the skill. Product research is a skill, product selection is a skill. Having an interest and knowledge of the niche you're going to be going into acts like a springboard because you already have the skill, the understanding of the pain points, the um, pricing thresholds that people are willing to pay or will be interested in. So for example, as somebody who loves golf and plays golf most weeks when I can, it's difficult when you have children, young children especially. However, I can tell you instantly when I see a new product within the golfing niche whether people are actually gonna take a liking to it. And it's because I have friends who are golfers that I speak to on a regular basis. It's because I play the sport, so I know what pain points golfers experience. And I also know how much money they'd be willing to spend solving that issue too. However, if you'd said to me, Jack, I have this fishing product, it's a law or it's a reel or it does this and that, how much do you think people who like to fish would be willing to pay for it? I wouldn't, I couldn't tell you now what a top of the range fishing reel costs. I couldn't tell you now whether it's 20 quid or whether they're 200 quid um, or even more. I couldn't even tell you what they're made out of because it's not a space that I have an interest or knowledge of. So for me to go into the fishing niche and try and be successful is naturally gonna be really difficult to do. So as a beginner, if you're sat watching this video, they are the two types of products you should be considering. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the first products, the ones that have the proven, non-disputable evidence people are buying the product. And in product number two, they're pretty self-explanatory. You can browse through AliExpress or other platforms and whatever catches your eye. If it naturally catches your eye, as somebody who's interested in that niche, the chances are it's gonna naturally catch somebody else's eye. Something else worth consideration too is that it doesn't matter what your product is, how good your product is, how much people want to buy it. If you cannot advertise it in an effective way, then the product probably will never be successful. So if you're somebody who's watching this video and you've tested more than a dozen products and not had any success whatsoever, then it might not be the products you're selecting. It could be the process that you're using to advertise them. So with that being said, let's jump into my computer 
and today I'm going to show you how to find product types number one, the one with the proven evidence using a platform called Dropper Spy. Dropper Spy is not new, it's not shiny, it's been around for a while. Um, so don't leave the video thinking it's outdated because that's just completely ridiculous. Um, the key things to take away from this video are the things you're looking for in a product that proves that it's currently being sold profitably. That's what you're looking for, regardless of whether you use Dropper Spy or some other product research software. The things I'm going to show you to look for in a product are what you need to look for in a product, regardless of the software that you're using. We'll head into the filters, right? What we're looking for is evidence. We're looking for proof a product is being sold profitably. And we can look for certain things that prove, or we can look for the certain evidence that we're looking for. So number one is comments. We want a minimum of 100 comments. Customers do not lie. If we can see the comments on a post of a drop shipping product that's being advertised and they're positive and people are reporting back their experience with the business, with the product, that's non-disputable evidence that nobody can argue with. And that's the exact thing we're looking for. Ecom platform, I'm gonna go for Shopify. When you find a Shopify store that's selling something successfully, there's endless Chrome extensions you can use to identify what their best selling products are um, and other things, what apps they're using, that sort of thing. We'll go for a call to action. The way Drops by works is it imports ads and posts into the platform, not always e-commerce or drop shipping specifically. So if we go for call to actions that people use when they're selling something like shop now or get offer, these are clearly posts that are actually selling something, then we're gonna narrow down our search into things that are more relevant. So shop now, get offer, buy now and order now. If you want to narrow down to a specific niche, so if you want to try and find both types of products in the same go, you can put your niche in at the top here. So you could put golf, you can see it updating in lifetime behind. And as we can see, it's going to narrow down to some degree, um, just the golfing products. We can see there's a few different ones that have come up here already. If golf isn't of relevance to you, that's totally fine. Let's get rid of this. Most people I talk to, to be fair, um, just they don't really care what they sell. They just want something that works. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on in this video, but you can put your niche in at the top if you wanna find something specifically. Um, just a point on that as well, is that if you are interested in working um, with myself on a one-to-one -one basis to find a product, build a store around it, obtain ad creatives and launch it and scale a business to 10K per month plus, stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you what the process looks like and how we can hop on a call together and have a chat in a bit more detail about how that works. Okay, so country-wise, um, we can leave this blank for now. Sometimes I narrow down to the big five. Um, I tend to leave USA out of it, to be honest, um, just purely because of the political climate at the moment. Well, let me show you firsthand um, search now. On every other line, there'll be something about guns and ammunition or Donald Trump. Um, it's just full of stuff that isn't really of relevance to me as somebody being in the UK. I tend to focus on the UK initially, gain some traction before I then try and take on the world. Never try and sell to everybody immediately. Focus on one small percentage of an audience. Establish that it works before you try and then sell to everybody and take on too much. Don't try, don't buy off more than you can chew in the beginning. So we'll come back up then, back into the filters. Let's get rid of USA and let's go for... Let's go for Australia. Let's go for United Kingdom, of course. Um, Canada. In fact, you know what? Let's, I know, we'll stick to the countries and we'll put a few different ones in. Um, all I want to do basically in this video is just show you how the sorts of things that you're looking for in a product. So just because they show up in this list, it doesn't necessarily mean they are 100% guaranteed winning product. What we essentially want to do is open the post up on Facebook and see what people are saying about it. So. The other thing we're looking for as well is this, is the last seen date, July 31st, which was two days ago, which is still within current times. You don't really want to go for anything that's more than a couple of weeks old because that could indicate that it's kind of falling off. And we want to go for, obviously, this is one of the key pieces of evidence that you're looking for as well, is that it's working right now. It's super easy to find products that worked six months ago, three months ago, two years ago. We don't want those outdated products that aren't working right now. Um, we want the ones that are working right now. So this is one of the products that looks pretty good. Um, it looks, I'm not actually familiar with this product. I'm not 100% sure if it's available on AliExpress. And we'll open up the website. That will give us clues about whether it is. And of course, we can go onto AliExpress and see if we can find it. In fact, this is starting to look a bit more dropshippy actually. So I think, in fact, yeah, 
I'm going to hazard a guess that it is 100% available. Um, so we're looking into the comment section, a couple of things we're looking for. Initially, we're looking for the evidence that people are interested in buying this. So they are lovely, I do the same and they really work. I play at home with them, that could indicate this person has bought them. Um, Claire from two weeks ago, which is pretty recent, I got them for my cats, so she loves them. Sent these to my granddaughter, her dad said she was a bit surprised but enjoyed playing with them later. Wonderful gift, lovely idea, I think my cat would love it. So there's a couple of people mentioning the animals here, so this is also how valuable it can be to look at the comment section because people will give you the marketing angles. These guys are not advertising this towards cat owners, they're advertising it towards friends and family members, but there's clearly a market here for cat owners because in the first few comments, there's a couple of people that have mentioned that their cats really like these. Kathleen, I bought these for my sister last week. Oh my God, they were fantastic and had the desired effect. Well worth the money. Well worth the money, five for 5.99, which is a super, super cheap product. So we'll check out the price in a second. Um, if it was me, if they bought them from elsewhere, I would remove and hide that comment. That's also the importance of having a moderation file installed into your Facebook page to get rid of anything that mentions Amazon or anything like that too. Um, Shuri Kane, I bought these. So 100%, I think somebody just said I got mine as well. Paid for mine 19th of June. Any idea how long it takes? Obviously there's a bit of a delay with delivery there, but I don't think got two packs, put in a car, didn't fly out, just dive onto the ground. I have still haven't received my order. So obviously they're not doing a very good job with fulfillment, but I don't think anybody watching this video can argue the fact that people are buying this product. So let's jump onto the website then. This isn't really the focus. 5.99, they are selling it for 5.99, which just seems crazy, crazy cheap. So there's something I'm not quite right there, but either way, that's not the topic of the video. The topic of the video is what to look for in a product when you select one next time you think about selling it. So let's see if we can find a more kind of concrete Okay, let's have a scroll through. Um, so we'll try and stick to the top actually because these are the most recent ones. Um, let's have a look at this with 15,000 likes. So let's get to this, we're gonna try and avoid this one. So this looks like a nice piece. It's obviously a custom printed thing, which is brilliant for drop shipping because you have a non-disputable excuse for the delivery times. When something is personalized and made to order, people expect to wait, wait at least a week or two. Um, I don't particularly like the ad setup. It looks a bit messy at the top. Um, but the most important thing, as always with any ad, is the actual visuals, the creative, the video, or the image itself. Um, and they do a really good job here of showing how special and um, it's just a really nice touch. And this is also reflected to in the responses that it's had. So 20,000 reactions, 1,500 comments, and nearly 8,000 shares. That is just absolutely crazy. Um, so that's the other thing you're looking for as well. So number one is you want to make sure it's relevant now. Number two is significant engagements because for something to get this level of engagement, it's obviously working. Nothing gets this sort of organic engagement unless it's a famous big time influencer or page. In this case, it's not that. So they've obviously paid to obtain this level of engagement, which means it must be working. Nobody keeps putting money into an ad unless they're seeing some form of return. So they're the first two things. Thirdly then, we're looking for evidence that people are buying this thing. I ordered on the 4th and received it today. It's beautiful, so there's somebody who's bought it. Um, Shelly, I lost my mum, the product is beautiful with mum on it. There's another person that's bought it. Um, Shanitra, finally got mine today. Another person got mine today, another person. I ordered one of these, beautiful, another person, another person. Somebody intent looking to order. This is another person that's ordered and it says they haven't received it yet. So they might not be doing a great job with the customer service. Ordered one, how do I order? How do I order? Where is mine? Does it change colors? How do I order? How do you get your photo on it? I got my daughter to order this for me. I ordered on March 30th. As you can see, again, nobody can deny people are buying this product. And then the last thing we need to check is the newest, just to make sure that it's still working right now. 12 minutes, 18 minutes, one day, 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 two days, as we can see. And again, another one from a couple of days ago, got mine today, is beautiful. So this one essentially ticks all the boxes. It's working right now. And if it's working for these guys, there's no reason why it can't work for you. It's got loads and loads of engagement, so it's very much established. It's been running since March 4th, so it's been running for quite a few months, which again illustrates that it's working consistently. And the comment section is very, very positive, and it's littered with people who have said they've actually bought this product. So it ticks all the boxes, a great product, and just took us, what, a couple of minutes to find. So 
with that being said guys i'm going to end the video there i could go on obviously forever finding product after product but hopefully you've taken the key points away from this video which will help kind of shine some clarity on that product research process if there's anything else that you need help with just leave a comment i will see it and get back to you um, if you stay till the end because you want more information on the mentorship program and what you need to do then is in the video description below this video you'll see a mentorship link click on that it will take you through to a series of questions that takes a couple of minutes to fill out and um, the question is basically um, it's a good chance for me to get to know where you are now where you want to be in one two or three months time with my help and if you have a realistic goal and it's something that i am confident i can help you achieve it'll take you through to my calendar where you'll be able to book a time and date for me and you to jump on a call we can meet have a chat get to know each other um, see what's what um, at the very least put a game plan together to get you to where you are now and achieving your goals in those one to three months time. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.